Hello, this is Cabo, and this is the Mandelbulb set. It's just using Seth Bling's Mandelbulb filter for MC Edit. I've made modifications to it so that it generates a survival map. Um, as you can see, it replaces all of the colored wool with stone, soil, sand, gravel, etc. It um, it also places resources around the map, saplings, which will grow into trees, um, reeds, mushrooms, cactus, melons, anything you'd need to play in survival. It also generates a lot of water, um, generates water for reeds, and when you um, have lake generation on, it will generate small lakes around the map, generates random ore veins. The ore distribution is made to resemble a standard vanilla Minecraft distribution. I just took a big section of land in MC Edit, looked at the distribution of, of minerals, and tried to emulate that with some formula in, uh, in the script. Pretty simple. Um, this is one example of the generation that it's made. It, as you can see, it's a a big example. This one's 256 by 256 by 256. This is just about the largest that you'd want to go. If you go any larger, um, you end up cutting off parts because you can't go above the 256 height limit. And as you extend in the the horizontal, it will start to uh, to do more of a section than a complete um, complete set like this. I'll switch over and show you actually what that looks like. Okay, so here's a another uh, map I generated using the same script, except I cut it off at the 127 height. So you can see it's 256 by 256 by 127, and it only generated half of the the entire set, so a section like I was explaining earlier. Um, this basin type formation is actually pretty cool too. Um, in general, I think the, the whole fractal thing will make a pretty good survival map. The script will also generate passive mobs, as you can see. Um, here's an example of a, a, a water lake. And if we go down here, we should be able to find some lava lakes as well. Yeah, so you can see some of the lava lakes that were generated. And that's about it for the results of the filter. I'm going to switch over to MC Edit now and show you how the filter works. So I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have MC Edit open now. Um, I've got this area selected over here, and I'll just use it to show you how the script works. So it's similar to how uh, Seth Blings works. You just choose an area. Click on Filter, select the, the Mandelbulb Survival Filter, then it gives you these options. Uh, the Parameter option is just like Seth Blink's filter. It basically controls the shape. Um, the first part that was added with my filter is ore multipliers. And basically these just multiply the number of ore veins. So if you didn't like the number of diamonds, for example, you could change this and say put it at 3 and you'd triple the number of diamonds, put it at 4 and you'd quadruple them. If you put it at 0, you'd have no diamonds, and you can also put in fractions, so 0.5 would be half the number of diamond veins. And that's how that works. The next part are these resource toggles. By switching this on or off, you can choose whether or not a particular resource is generated. For resource generation, the way it works is when the fractal algorithm places blocks, it will 
do a random check against this frequency value, and if it passes, then it will try to place it. Um, it also will check for valid locations. So um, if it's a dirt block, it will try to place saplings. If it's a sand block, it will try to place cactus. Mushrooms can be placed anywhere. Pumpkins and melons and vines can be placed anywhere. But that's how that works. You can put this at zero to get none, or you can just turn it off to get none. If you put it at one, it will always try to generate. I don't recommend that because then you'd have them everywhere. But I just put them at low values because all of these resources are renewable. Anyway, the next section is lava and water generation. I plan to more plan to add more options here, like changing the uh, the scale of the lava and water lakes, so you can make them bigger or small smaller. Also, um, maybe have lava only spawn at the lava level like it's doing now. You can see all of these are within a five block range of this height level 10, um, or have them anywhere, but that's for later. If this is unchecked, these little lava lakes won't spawn. Um, by default, lava lakes are on. By default, water lakes are off. That's because sugar cane generates a lot of water. But if you turn it on, you'll get little, lake, little lakes like the ones that I showed you with the lily pads. And those generate anywhere. They're not restricted to a level. Uh, the last part is passive mob generation. Uh, this works by determining a number of of passive mob packs. These are determined by a calculation with the, the area of the map, the X and the Z area. And basically it chooses the number of, of packs and then chooses the type depending on which one of these are checked for each pack. So if you have cows off but you have the other three on then it will only choose one of these three for the the pack um, if you have them all off it won't do any mo uh, passive mob generation at all and you have only one on then you only get one pack and that's all there is for the passive mob generation anyway let me go ahead and run the filter so you can see what it looks like for small uh, volumes like this it goes pretty quick it's just a few seconds uh, but for larger volumes like this one it actually can take up to a couple hours i don't recommend using a small volume like this because there's not much point in playing a survival map with that but you can do what you want anyway that's all there is to to generating it um if you don't like the distribution of soil, sand, and stone, whatever, you can go into the script and change the value that's called uh, color list. It's up at the top. and Play around with that. I just chose one that gave a reasonable distribution of stone and soil compared to the other things. But you can do what you want. You can also change the actual blocks that are are used you could put wood in or whatever that's pretty easy also if you have any suggestions for the lake generation algorithms the uh, lava lakes or the water lakes please let me know uh, the one I use is just very simple um, makes not very random lake shapes that as you can see they're all about the same but anyway uh, that's all there is. Let me know if you found this interesting. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or suggestions. Um, and thanks for watching.